In this video we're going to take a look at creating a file cabinet page on your website which is just another page that will host uh, downloadable content. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a new page and I'm just going to call this one math downloads and instead of making it a web page I'm going to make this a file cabinet which just means that I'll be able to host content on there that will uh, be able to be downloaded and I'll click create and you're going to see different options than we've had before and this first one add file is just if you have something that's on, on your computer on your laptop on your hard drive that you want to upload we can just click add file and it's taken me straight to my desktop and I've already dragged some math homework sheets on here that I'm just gonna go ahead and select and I'll pause it while we upload those okay and you can see here that those sheets have all uploaded uh, and I'm gonna add one more thing but instead of adding it from my hard drive I'm gonna add it from my Google Drive and we're gonna go with a different type of file and I just uh, select a smart notebook file and you can see that is uh, now attached down here okay. now uh, a couple different things that we need to look at is uh, as you go through the year this might uh, get very crowded so it would be good to keep this organized as with anything else uh, so you can see that there are a few things that can be grouped together and so I see I've got uh, classifying triangles by side by angle and angle and side so what I'm going to do with those three is I'm going to move them to a new folder that I'm just going to title triangles and so now they're grouped together and I'll collapse that folder and I see I've got trapezoid, rhombus, square, rectangle. So these can be grouped together in a new folder. And I'll collapse that. And these two don't really fit in a separate category, but I'll just show you what these are going to look like real quick. Since this uh, one up here, you can see it's a JPEG. So if you view it, you can see what that would look like. Or it can also be downloaded. And you can see as it's been downloaded and uh, we'll take a look at this one the smart notebook file uh, it is going just to give you a link to the drive where you can download it okay I'm going to uh, make a separate page and I'll just do it again so we can see it of different content we'll just make this one reading downloads and this will be a file cabinet. I'll click create. I'm going to add some things from my drive and uh, we'll do a different type of file. We've done JPEGs and smart notebook files but this time we're just going to add uh, some PDF files. And we'll go ahead and organize this the same way. This is a folder called Reasons and Evidence. Now these are all PDFs. We'll go ahead and take a look at one of them. So if I want to view this one, so I have uh, some text here within it describes an activity, and so I can think about what my answers might be, and if I want to look ahead for hints, I can see the answers on the next page. And if I wanted to download that, I could from there. So that is uh, one way we can create file cabinet pages with downloadable content. You could use this several different ways. Uh, I would think about who is going to be viewing your page. If it's a class page that's set up for students and families to look at, maybe you're posting homework on there, maybe you're posting extra extension activities or uh, differentiated activities. Um, maybe this is a page that you use to communicate with other teachers, maybe uh, around the district or at in other districts or across the state. Um, and then, you know, maybe you're posting your own lessons and uh, letting those be downloaded straight off of your website. So lots of different ways to use a file cabinet, uh, and that's just something that you would have to think about uh, the best way to to get the most use out of that.